So finally it's here. A big change in the mirrorless industry of the camera world and the changer is the Canon. Last 9 July, Canon released their two flagship graded mirrorless cameras, which are the Canon EOS R5 and R6, and they will be ready to purchase on the first week of August. So what are the changes? A whole lot. Too many upgraded specifications and more flexibility. First of all, let's talk about the video section. The EOS R5 can shoot at 8K up to 30 frames per second at 422 10-bit internally. And guess what? No crop factor and the dual pixel autofocus tracking will also work with it. But Canon didn't end up here. It also can shoot at 4K 120 frames per second C log at 422 10-bit internally. Just wow! The R6 can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 120 frames per second. No option for 8K. Both of these cameras have 5 axis in body image stabilization, which is the very first time in Canon cameras. And this is the world's best IBIS up to 8 stops. So, what does that mean up to 8 stops? It means you can slow the shutter speed up to 8 stops. So, if you were shooting with a 70 to 200 mm lens at 200 mm focal length, then you will be able to take a shot of 1 to 2 second handheld. And that's amazing. But in one condition for getting this, you'll have to use the Canon RF series lenses. Let's come to the focusing system. Both of these cameras use Canon's advanced dual pixel CMOS autofocus 2 which is more improved and upgraded. Now you can detect eye, hate, face in human subject and also Canon uses animal detection system in which you can detect the eye and face and body of flying birds, running cats and dogs. Pretty much impressive, right? It's a great addition for wildlife and sports photography. Also 1053 selective autofocus zones, but the most important thing is now you have vertically and also horizontally 100% area of our focus. So now we can focus in anywhere of the sensor we want. Again, a big wow for Canon. What about the storage? The R5 has two card slots, one is for the regular SD card and the other is for CF Express card which is very important because when you are shooting in 8K you must need a super fast and powerful card for saving your footage and the CFX card will do that job for you very smoothly. In the Canon EOS R6, there is also two card slots but both of these card slots are for the regular SD card so no tension of losting your footage anymore because you will have always a card for backup. You will get 12 FPS in mechanical shutter and up to 20 FPS in electronic shutter on both of these two cameras. Canon used an amazing system in R5 which is silent shutter. You can shoot without any shutter sound at live view mode. So just get rid of this shutter sound. So the video section is done. Let's go for the photo section. Canon used 45 megapixel of full frame sensor in the Canon EOS R5 and 20.1 megapixel of full frame sensor in the EOS R6. Both of these cameras use the Digic X processor which is the latest technology of Canon. Canon used this processor previously in their 1DX Mark III which is over a $6,000 camera. And that same processor you will get in these cameras. Too amazing. The ISO range of EOS R5 is 100 to 51,200 which can be expandable up to 1 lakh 2400 but in R6 the range is 100 to 1 lakh 2400 which is expandable up to 2 lakh 4800. So the R6 will perform better in low light situation because you will get bigger pixels for a 20.1 megapixel sensor and on the other hand the R5 is made for high end professional and commercial users. Obviously both of these cameras are amazing no doubt I just gave my opinion. Come with the pricing. The Canon EOS R5 will cost about $3,899 and the EOS R6 will be $2,499. These prices are also amazing because the specification you are getting, the technology you will use are very much okay with the price. So now, the decision. Should you take it? Well, that's your choice. But one thing, the specs you are getting will be to all the other brands not for today, not for tomorrow, it will be in the top for the next 4-5 to five years. Just grab R5 and R6 and the most powerful mirrorless camera of the decade will be in your hand. Well, that was a brief review of the Canon EOS R5 and R6. 
Hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know your opinion about these two cameras in the comment below. Do subscribe to my channel. This is Ashan Shorov signing out. The EOS R5 will use the IS or blah blah blah. blah. Come to the price. Dami to bulletsi. Hi hi. R5 is made for high-end commercial, high-end commercial, high-end professional.